Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to look at the top five best handheld consoles in 2023. We made this list based on our own opinion, research, and customer reviews. We've considered their quality, features, and values when narrowing down the best choices possible. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description box below. So, here are the top five best handheld consoles. The fifth product on our list is Logitech G Cloud. In terms of hardware and performance, one of the best handheld consoles out there right now is the Logitech G Cloud. Based on the name itself, you might already have an idea about what this console is focused on. The Logitech G Cloud is the first handheld gaming console that relies purely on streaming services. It can handle Xbox Game Pass or NVIDIA GeForce Now. It's basically the closest thing you'll get to a portable Xbox console. For many, its reliance on the cloud might be a good thing as you no longer have to worry about storage. The problem, however, is that you'll need a constant source of connection to be able to play your games. Unfortunately, the console doesn't have any SIM card support, so you'll have to connect to the internet via Wi-Fi. This could be a deal breaker to many as it limits what the Logitech G Cloud can do. The Logitech G Cloud doesn't just feel like an Xbox handheld console, it looks like that too. Its color scheme, sticks, and D-pad layout all scream Xbox One and Xbox Series X. If you have any of these consoles, then the Logitech G Cloud will feel very familiar. As for the specs, the console has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 720G chip, which is a powerful CPU for a handheld device. The display is a 7-inch IPS Full HD screen, so you're getting crisp visuals along with the powerhouse of a console that it is. In fact, it might even have one of the best screens in a handheld device. Due to its extensive library of games, powerhouse specs, and amazing display, the Logitech G Cloud deserves a spot on this list. Being cloud-focused isn't really a problem, but we would have ranked this console higher on this list if it had a SIM card slot for better connectivity options. Up next in fourth place is the Nintendo Switch Lite. The Nintendo Switch Lite is smaller than its predecessor, yet it still has the same power and library as the Nintendo Switch. Simply explained, the Nintendo Switch Lite is a smaller version of the Nintendo Switch. The size is much smaller, and the weight is significantly lower. It's ideal for individuals who are always on the move, as well as those who don't need or want to play on a bigger screen and are satisfied with the Nintendo Switch Lite. The console is less powerful than a standard Switch. Despite this, the Nintendo Switch Lite can still run every game in the Nintendo Switch catalog, which should be a wonderful consideration for people who want to fully appreciate everything Nintendo has to offer. As predicted, the price decreases as the size of the light decreases. It's especially suitable for children since the console is both robust and light enough for their hands. The Nintendo Switch Lite is available in a variety of colors, which is ideal for people seeking for a certain style. Although the screen is smaller, the display itself is rather impressive, and the battery life is almost identical to that of a standard Switch. You can still squander hours with the Nintendo Switch Lite. It demonstrates that little packages may nonetheless have big results. Whatever you try, the Nintendo Switch Lite will not work with docks. This might be an issue while playing games like Ring Fit Adventures and Mario Party, which demand a huge screen. The console is not suitable for folks who prefer local multiplayer. The main disadvantage of the Nintendo Switch Lite is that the controllers are not removable as they are on the normal Switch. If it starts to stick, you'll have to spend a lot of money on repairs. The third product on our list is the Evercade EXP. Today's games offer a lot in terms of visuals and gameplay features. However, you really can't blame gamers if they still want a taste of the old days through retro gaming. If that's what you're into, you might want to consider the Evercade XP. Evercade EXP is a retro-focused handheld console. It might not run the latest games, but if you love games from various Atari consoles and the Commodore 64, then this is the handheld console just for you. 
It can hold anywhere between 2 to 20 games, depending on how large the titles are. Although the console is focused on retro gaming, the developers didn't hold back when it comes to providing an amazing experience overall. From its hardware features, it's safe to say that the Evercade EXP is the best retro handheld gaming console out there right now. The console is armed with a 4.3-inch IPS screen, a mini HDMI outport, USB-C charging, and Wi-Fi, and it has about five hours of battery life, depending on the game. At purchase, the console will include 18 games and familiar titles such as Mega Man, Street Fighter II, and much more. As for adding games, you can simply download them as you go. We would have wanted a larger storage for the console, to be honest, but even with its limited space, you're already getting hours upon hours worth of gameplay already, so it's worth it. The Evercade EXP isn't for everyone, but for retro gamers out there, it's one of the best handheld consoles there is. Evercade is constantly improving its offering with more hardware upgrades. There could come a time when the next Evercade EXP console is the best handheld there is. The second product on our list is the Nintendo Switch OLED. The Nintendo Switch has surpassed the PlayStation 4 as the third best-selling video gaming system of all time. That comes as a surprise given that the console was released in 2017. Despite its age, the Switch is still a formidable opponent. The Nintendo Switch is the company's most recent console. It's one of their greatest appearances ever, particularly after the Wii U debacle. As a consequence, one of the finest portable consoles of all time has been created. While the Nintendo Switch is a portable device, the dock allows you to play your games on a bigger screen through your TV. The Nintendo Switch is therefore one of the first hybrid systems to enter the market. Nintendo took a significant risk by developing a hybrid platform, but everything has paid off handsomely for them. One of the most significant advantages of purchasing a Nintendo Switch is its extensive library. It includes fantastic exclusives such as The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, Fire Emblem, Three Houses, Super Mario Odyssey, and many more. Unlike the Wii U, Nintendo has made the Switch more accessible to third-party titles, so you can play games like Kingdom Hearts, The Witcher 3, and many more. While the Switch's technology is significantly less inferior to other games on this list, it more than makes up for it with amazing games and a broader choice of ways to play. The Nintendo Switch isn't exclusively for youngsters, contrary to common opinion. It is also appropriate for grown-ups. The Nintendo Switch has reached the end of its useful life. According to Nintendo, The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom is one of the Switch's last significant titles. However, the system is still worthwhile to purchase since it has years' worth of fantastic video games. Before we reveal number one, be sure to check out the description below for the newest deals on each of these items. And be sure to subscribe if you want to stay up to date on the best products on the market. Finally, our top product title name is the Steam Deck. The Steam Deck is perhaps the greatest portable console in 2023, surpassing even the Nintendo Switch. There's a lot to consider when determining why this is the greatest portable console, but it all comes down to power. Simply described, the Steam Deck is a portable gaming computer. It can run practically any game in the Steam catalog, including heavyweight blockbusters like God of War, Elden Ring, Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice, The Last of Us, and more. All of these games may be played on the Steam Deck without any issues. Even better, the games are run natively rather than over the cloud, so you don't have to worry about your Steam Deck having a solid connection. While it is costly, many people believe the Steam Deck is worth it. The Steam Deck has a lot of buttons, making it simple to play most of the games in the Steam library. True, you can't play complicated games like Dota 2 or other strategic games only using the controller. However, you can still connect a keyboard and mouse to the Steam Deck and play the remainder of your collection without issue. The Steam Deck is supposed to last between 2 and 8 hours, depending on the game. Unfortunately, many people may find this to be too short of a runtime, particularly when playing AAA games on the move. The good news is that there are several fantastic power banks that you can use to augment the Steam Deck, 
allowing you to play favorite games for longer periods of time for a little cost. The Steam Deck has raised the bar for portable gaming. It's hard to believe this is Valve's first effort into portable gaming. They may someday develop another portable console that outperforms anything we've seen thus far. That's all for our list of the five best handheld consoles on the market. Head over to the description below for links to more detailed info on each of the products. And remember to leave a comment to let us know your opinion. Thanks for watching. If we helped you out in any way, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. We'll see you guys in the next video.